Look, stuff like that doesn't matter here. People in London live mixed up all together. Oh, there, there, there it is, there. Hey, look. <laughs> hey. I mean, it's just like the photo. It's perfect. This place opening up again? It certainly is. Terry Davidson, proprietor. This is the missus. Is that an Irish accent I'm hearing? Northern Irish. Is that a problem? Well, not for me. As long as you sell the sporting life, me and you are going to be the best of chumps. Right. Close your eyes and open your hands. <laughs> I love that. I also want a written list of every question that you intend to ask. What? Senior clients can cook up some crazy cover story? I understand that you forcibly removed chewing gum from my client Terry McInturf. It was safety. It's where he might choke. Well, it was in fact nicotine gum as prescribed by his GP. So he's entitled to supply whites he's in custody just as he would be any other prescription drug. And you're in breach of custody regulations by withholding it. So make a complaint. I intend to. Here. Do you want a wee bit of scraps? Yes, please. Salt and vinegar? Yes, please. For God's sakes, did you not eat enough of your grannies? Aye, but I just played football for the school. And sure he needs to keep his energy up if he's going to be the next Georgie Best. Danny Blanchard. Ah, oh, Jesus, he's a Spurs man. Come on, I can't be having this fella in my shop. Ugh, I can see the Perry is far enough. Here, come on, finish them up and then get to your homework. And don't you be scrounging free chips and nobody. Your grannies. Peachy. By name and by nature. Is that a dog? We call pup. I couldn't wash my hands, could I? Oh, yeah. Come on in. There's a basin in the back there. You need to stand your gas fire on a stone or metal slab and remember to open a door or window whenever it's turned on. I don't want to draft getting on these puppies. Can you just do up your cardigan? Oh, the dogs. Right, sorry. Where's a pen so I can get all this down to? Just hold this pup for me, will you, love? Yeah, she needs to keep warm. She's been rejected and Mum's up the Aussie. And this won't do. If you must use candles, and we don't recommend it, don't put it in a plastic bottle. It burns with very little flame and smoke at a very high temperature. Doesn't it all? No. We need to ensure the steel is as pure as possible. You see? Is that a problem? No, of course not. Where will you be getting it from? Our usual suppliers. In which country? Where do you recommend we get it from? Wales. It's called Best Welsh. Dr. Muir, we already bring coal into Ireland from a whole variety of sources. Usually, when we deal with your father, he knows exactly what we're talking about. Well, so what if she is? You weren't meant that when you found out Dad had an affair. No, that's different. He had no reason to cheat. What are you looking for? Why do you hate him so much? No, I don't. But I don't want Mum growing old, alone and miserable. What is it, just because you can't be happy, neither can she? You sure I'll still live around the corner? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go around. Well, that's hardly very smart, is it? I don't see why not. I mean, I'm stuck here now. My life's as good as over. And what about Mercedes? Well, do you see her here? I take it you chose this? No, actually, my dad did. What was it that uh, you said about me being gay? Look, Shane, I'd love to stand here and reminisce with you all day, but I really don't have the time, all right? Get up! I say get up, you little faggot! Touch him again and you're dead, all right? <laughs> Is that right? Now let's just go. Have you seen Cheryl yet? Fat girls are just so grateful, aren't they, Mal? <laughs> Francis Fisher. <laughs>